Welcome to On the Spectrum. I'm your host, Terry Matthews, and this is the show where we inform you, entertain you, and encourage you, yes, about all things autism. We like to call it prescription TV. So every Tuesday is a do-it-yourself project, and today I'm gonna be doing a do-it-yourself project with Matcharoo and three in a row. It's one of my favorite games, and it's so simple and easy to do with all things, basically, that we have in the house. So let's talk about what we actually have here. Everybody has a muffin pan. Y'all either making Jiffy cornbread muffins, cupcakes, something. But if you don't have a muffin pan, you can find it at any retailer and I'm sure probably less than $10. So we have two muffin pans and we're gonna show you a couple of games that you can do with your kids that'll help teach you. Here we also have um, cute cupcake, uh, Cupcake holders, I think that's what they're called. Um, there's a little bit of goldfish. We have some Legos. What kid doesn't have Legos? And we also have some animals. And you could use these types of animals, smaller animals around the house. So let's start with our first thing. Sight words for our kids are a big deal. Here we have sight words like the, down, you, big. If you don't know what a sight word is, it's typically words that can't be sounded out. So this is a game that we play called three in a row. So basically what you would do is take a cupcake holder, I will do it for you just to kind of demonstrate how quick and simple it is. Um, you would take a cupcake holder. We're going to use a sight word, not, N-O-T. So you would just write not right on here. You would stick this in, and you would write another word. And this entire thing would be filled. So just for sake of showing you that it would be full, I'm going to write one more word. Let's say make, M-A. A E. And what you would have your kiddo do is you would say, for example, the word the. It helps them identify what the is. And you can use goldfish, gummy bears, M&Ms, whatever your choice or preferred candy or um, positive reward that you think your kids would like. Jaden loves goldfish. He typically likes the very cheesy kind. So I'm gonna use just for sake this. So you would say the, and the child would drop the. And the idea of this game is almost like a tic-tac-toe. You wanna get three in a row. Down, they would find the word down and drop the goldfish there. Look, they would find the word look and drop the goldfish there. And once they fill this up, their reward is to eat all of what's in here. My advice and recommendation is stay low sugar because they will be charged up after eating all this. Could you imagine this thing being filled with gummy bears or M&Ms? So that's just one quick, easy game. Another thing that you can do to help your kid identify colors is I actually like to use Legos. So in here, these are a little bit bigger. Sometimes they're smaller Legos, but this helps because it keeps the kid from putting them in their mouth, especially when you're working with smaller kids. You can drop Legos like green, blue, and maybe red. And I would say, for example, find the red Lego. And he would find the card, red, and he'd either place the card in there or he would hold the card red and pick up the red Lego. And that's a good way to match. So he's identifying the color. He's also identifying the word. And that worked really well. Sometimes we would use animals. So for example, here's a cow, here's a sheep, and here's a dog. And let's say, you know, which animal says moo and he would take these cards is it a sheep is it the dog or is it the cow and he would point oh it's the cow and he would receive the cow and we would get cute squirter toys um, that he could play in the bathtub so it was a reward he got to actually keep that toy so this is a very low cost inexpensive thing it helps a kid with sentence sequencing once they learn these sight words once they learn colors they can begin to put a sentence together it's just a real cool inexpensive project you're talking about a project that you can do in your home for at less than twenty dollars so if you're interested in trying this project at home, please log on to www.terrymatthewsonline.com. You'll be able to download step-by-step -step instructions and you can give it a try. Thank you for joining us. That's all the time we have today. See you next time on The Spectrum.